two-wheel drive, a versatile drivetrain layout. In this video, I'll be showing you front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive. Now, how can you tell if your car is front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? In front-wheel drive, you will see the engine will be transversely mounted this way. If your car is rear-wheel drive, your engine will face this way. Let's take a look at let's take a look at front wheel drive. These are all color coded. Blue represents the engine. In this vi in this picture, you're seeing a inline four. The pink represents your torque converter, and your orange represents your transaxle, or in this case, your transmission for a front wheel drive car. And finally, you have your differential in your uh, in your final drive. The advantages of having a front wheel drive engine is the is the engine bay doesn't have to be big. So it can be small as it can be. That's why you see cars like the Fiat 500, Honda Civic, and uh, and small and all the compact cars having the transversely mounted engine layout or front wheel drive. Another advantage of having front wheel drive is it doesn't have to rely on a drive shaft. So and that also leads to another advantage. And um, since the chassis can be the main chassis can just be a little bit lower people it's more spacious inside so you as the passengers or the driver have more space inside so when you're riding you don't have you don't feel crammed there's a disadvantage though on on front wheel drive layouts if you ever taking this thing to a track a front wheel drive car to a track you're going to suffer something called understeer and what is understeer understeer is when the front front tires don't gain traction when you turn at high speeds so let's say if you're driving 70 miles an hour on a turn uh, on a left turn you're going to suffer your tires skidding on that direction that you're going to and that's what's called understeer there but you can't control that though it's to slow down another disadvantage is the engine layout since it's all the way it's on the front it is also uneven front engine layouts have more weight and has an asymmetrical weight distribution so that means you're suffering torque steer so what is that drive your car at your nearby highway and drive straight and you will notice that your car is going to turn left or to the right a little bit and that's what torque steer is it's the reason behind that is because the engine all the weight from the engine and the transmission is all uneven.